attended various courses in India and abroad, is also one amongst the youngest Indians to be a certified international foundation teacher in Munich, Germany for immediate loading dental implants. His firm Trisa Enterprise is the official dealer for mono implants in India. Ladies and gentlemen, if all of you can please get ready to applaud and welcome on stage one amongst the youngest Indians to be a certified international foundation teacher. Welcome you on stage. Hello, hello. I think, hello, yeah. yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. And big pleasure to see all your esteemed dignitaries. So I strongly believe that as clinicians, and as dentists, we have been given this gift of God where we can get back smiles for our patient. And every smile, as I keep telling, you will see also on my Facebook post, they have a story to tell. So we see patients who probably are more than 60, 70 years old. Some have diabetes, some have been rejected uh, by the previous dentist for implants, some have been given complicated treatment plans and they could not take it up. Some don't want to go for extensive sinus lift surgeries and by virtue of being a corticobasal implantologist, we have been gifted this power of giving them back the smiles. And this smiles definitely if we go in a reverse direction, we need to plan good prosthetic outcomes for our patient and to plan good prosthetic outcomes which nowadays with the demanding scenario which patient want in 2-3 day, 4 days time we need to devise procedures which are simplistic, predictable as well as which can be done without any kind of major augmentations in the mouth. So keeping this in mind, my topic for today which has been selected, given to me by the organizing team is pterygoid implants and the beauty of this procedure is that as you see from this x-ray there are multiple ways of doing the same procedure so we can depending upon the situation plan for a single pterygoid a double pterygoid if required additional support with zygomatic implants we can use compressive implants for pterygoid we can use basal implants so there are so many variations and this variation, though it saves our time and the need for sinus augmentation, it has also created some kind of stress, especially in the newcomers, where they are surprised or they are wondering how to go about it. And that's the exact job role given to me to help you with the pterygoid implants. So this is Dr. Rohan Virani from Bombay. And before I go ahead, of course, this is not my last slide. Some doctors, so especially this post lunch session, session, this is what happens. So I saw one doctor suddenly saw thank you slide and he's wondering whether he took a nap and he got up or is it the last slide did he miss up. So it's not this. I just want to thank certain people obviously before I start with my presentation. And of course, our Dr. Bharat Kumar sir is there. Sir, thank you for keeping your lecture before the lunch and mine after the lunch and giving me opportunity to talk. Thank you sir, thank you for giving me the opportunity uh, for this and of course my friend, colleague, brother Dr. Loda sir is here around. I want to thank him for two reasons, of course for being good friend of mine, helping me and secondly giving me the accommodation. I need to thank him otherwise next time you see in the queue I won't get a problem. If I don't thank him I won't get a room on time. So I need to thank him as well and if Jyoti is around. Yeah, Jyoti, I need to thank. I, I'll have to convey it separately to her. Of course, I need to thank her because we keep pestering her all the time with our requirements for mono implants, which she gives away. And 2023, my friends, has been the year of legends. So I'm a cricket follower. And of course, everyone knows Thaleva, MS Dhoni. But I'm not referring to him right now. I'm referring to our Thaleva. 
of course, my brother. So Talewa Mins is a legend, and like how in uh, sports, I think everyone uh, in football, uh, everyone knows how the Pele and other guys were living legends. And for us, the living legend for cortico basal implantology, my elder brother. I think I request all of you to give a standing ovation the way this guy has taken the. Thank you, Dr. Viru. Thank you. We are all honored, privileged. You have taken raised the bar of cortico basal implantology to the next level with this kind of a setup. Is really, uh, you know, it's like a dream come true where you're taking basal implantology. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Also, getting done the activity of everyone keeping active after lunch. So, two in one, sir. Okay. <laughs> and as I thank you, what I also want to tell about Dr. Videndra, sir, is I've always seen him positive, laughing. He's a giver. He always likes to give something. Sir, I repeated giver twice because I am waiting for you to give me your signed copies of the book, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so please note it, I repeated it twice, sir. <laughs> oh, maybe three times, sorry. Three books. <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, with that, and of course, whenever I have interacted with Viru, sir, one more thing, I cannot resist but sharing. So, almost eight, nine years back when we met in uh, Europe, after that, you know, that time we were new to each other, but his words really clicked with me. And uh, with his guidance, later on we started talking on the phone, speaking with each other. And later on from a two-chair practice, immediately in some time, I moved to a four-chair practice. I called you, I told you about it. And then the previous conference, sir, when you held it, from four-chair practice, I moved to a seven-chair practice. And this is the next conference. So I'm hoping something positive turning out this time also. And also, personally, sir, first daughter born during the Europe, second daughter born during the previous conference. But this time I've come up more mature, no more activities. I'm <laughs> focusing on my work. <laughs> okay, so what is tuberoterigoid implant? Of course, it's placement of implants through the <coughs> maxillary tuberosity into the region of pterygoid plates. And none of us are interested in this definition. So, I will give you the practical definition of tuberoterigoid implant. Technique of using a single drill to solve a complex problem, thus providing patient a simplistic solution for a realistic problem, that is lack of teeth, leading to a willingful placement of funds from the patient's pocket to your bank account. So, that's my practical definition of tuberoterigoid implants and my job will be to make it as easy and simple for all of you guys over here. So let me come up with the clinical strategies which you can start implementing from Monday morning in your practice. So all of you who are worried how to go about these implants, I am going to give you step by step exact situation of how you can th start thinking about your cases, how you should plan it, what kind of x-rays do you need, what should be your mindset and more importantly, what to do if you cannot do. So it's all going to come up. So just pay attention for the next half an hour, 45 minutes. Forget about what food you had, what your neighbor is doing. And I think I will be able to solve a major crisis, not only in your life, but also your patient's life. Okay, so we all know this is a graphless procedure. We can do with immediate functional loading. Improves the AP spread of our prosthesis. Especially because once you have a premolar implant and then you place a pterygoid implant, you are no longer cantilevering your prosthesis. And the beauty of the procedure, with experience, you will all start doing it flapless. Of course, it's technique sensitive and the most important sensation we need to develop, like how we have developed for our endo root canals, is the tactile sensation. It's the game of tactile and you will need a good knowledge about the anatomy when you are trying to place these implants. So having said that, let me just brief the anatomy for all of you guys over here. So as we all know this region of maxilla, this is the heart palate, alveolus and the medial pterygoid plate and the lateral pterygoid plate which are a part of the sphenoid bone. Medial pterygoid plate and lateral pterygoid plate which are a part of the sphenoid bone. Just pay attention for next 5 minutes, it will become very clear for you all. So this is another view. First molar, second molar, third molar, 
the alveolus the distal part of the maxilla fusing with the medial and lateral pterygoid plate and this zone where they are fusing this zone where they are fusing over here this zone where they are fusing over here this is called as the fusion zone which is the area of interest for us so these are just different views for the same thing and if any one of you really is kicked up about this you can even repeat with me which will help you memorize this right over here okay alveolus heart palate medial pterygoid plate lateral pterygoid plate and fusion zone